Hi, welcome to Movie Review Mom. And if this is your very first time here, a special welcome to you. I'm the mom and I review the movies. My job is to give you the heads up on content so you can decide if it's worth your time and your money. So stay tuned for the end of the review of this because I have special news about a special event during the screening of this movie. So first of all, what's the movie? Well, it's called Truth is the only client, the official investigation of the murder of John F. Kennedy. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it is available on video on demand, November 17th, 2020. Now the movie is not rated because it's a documentary. However, because there's some bloody images, discussion of assassination, visual of the actual assassination, I'd probably put it at a PG-13 or R, really. And honestly, kids won't be interested in this. They'll be pretty bored. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. I'll give you some tips for parents in just a minute. The movie is 135 minutes long. And the movie review mom grade I'm going to give it is an A-. minus. Now, in a nutshell, Everyone seems to have their own theory about who really killed President John F. Kennedy, right? Well, Vincent Bugliosi, author of Reclaiming History, the Assassination of John F. Kennedy, is interviewed in this documentary and stated, quote, it's now the most complex murder case by far in world history. Nothing even remotely comes close. Well, that's quite a statement, and that's kind of the premise of this whole film. It's a new documentary that explores the unvarnished facts of the Kennedy assassination as told by the Warren Commission investigators, credible experts, and by the first-person accounts of people who were close to the events of the day. Without relying on conjecture or speculation, this film lays out the actual evidence discovered in the case. And in so doing, kind of myth busts the, some of the conspiracy theories that are out there and that have perpetuated through the decades. The film explores what these men thought at the time of the investigation, which I found to be pretty interesting, and what their views are today, especially in light of new evidence that has come to light. It offers a thorough examination of the hard evidence of the case, updated with the benefit of the passage of time. It's a unique view into the workings of history and perhaps one of the only remaining opportunities for people to judge for themselves the effectiveness and the conclusions of the Warren Commission. I think that's pretty interesting. This work may be the last chance to probe these indiv individuals who conducted the long and exhaustive investigation because they're aging. The documentary is hosted by Judge Brendan Sheehan. He stated, quote, for me, that's the lasting tragedy of the assassination. It's become a signpost of the end of trust in our government. Yet when you think about it, our system persevered and moved forward in spite of the cover-ups and destroyed evidence. I think that's a really powerful statement as well. All right, so some tips for parents. First of all, as I said, most kids are gonna be pretty bored and some adults might be also. There's no profanity. And if you do watch this with your kids, you're probably gonna to need to explain who President John F. Kennedy was, uh, who murdered him, that we know of and why it caught the attention of conspiracy theorists for years. You get to see actual footage of the actual moment when JFK was shot, which is bloody and very shocking. There are pictures and talk of firearms and of course all of the other events leading up to that. Now, some themes that are presented in the movie are first of all, truth versus lies government, the government's truth versus the government's lies, power and control. 
Now, there were plenty of things that I liked about this documentary. First of all, I thought the opening scene was really great. You do get to see lots of original footage of the time. And so I really liked that. And they did a really good job, I thought, of blending the interviews with the actual footage. So the interviews include co-producers and directors, Todd Quaid and Rob Stegman. And the interviews feature Howard Willens from the Warren Commission Council and Staff Liaison, Judge Bert Griffin from the Warren Commission Council, David Slauson, Warren Commission Council, Ruth Payne, owner of the home where Marina Oswell lived in November 1963. And I actually really enjoyed her thoughts because she was dealing with Lee Harvey Oswald's wife and just the insights that she shared, I thought were particularly insightful and actually really touching. Also, Bernie Wiseman, who placed an article in the Dallas Morning News seeming to threaten the president. Robert Blakely from the Chief Counsel of the Chief Counsel and Staff Director, uh, Senate House Select Committee on Assassinations from 1977 to 1979. And Vincent Bugliosi, assassination expert, Patricia Johnson McMillan, author of Marina and Lee. I mean, this list just goes on and on. Judge Brendan Sheehan, Judge Ellen Connolly, and Steve Barber. You'll learn a lot of facts about the investigation and all of the people who were involved in it. Lee Harvey Oswald was claimed to have illusions of grandeur. He even named his diary Historic Diary. He wanted to do something significant and memorable with his life. Mission accomplished. <laughs> uh, and so it was interesting to learn a little bit about him. Several common conspiracy theories are addressed and related to the facts and the evidence that are found. The material is presented as both formal reviews as well as casual conversations with those associated with the investigations. And then keep watching during the closing credits to see more video interviews. Now, there were just a few things that I didn't like about the documentary, and that is it's pretty straightforward with no fluffy artistry in the telling. And so because of that, some people might be bored. Conspiracy theorists might be disappointed. I'm sure they're hoping that things will be proven to show that they were right all along. So I'll, I, wanna, I don't want to give you any spoilers. You can find out for yourselves what they unveil. Now, there are always interesting lines in movies, and so I write them down, and I include them in my written report at moviereviewmom.com, but I'll share a couple of them with you right now. Uh, first of all, uh, Judge Brendan Sheehan says, the danger of adhering to endless conspiracy theories is that it makes people apathetic and leads them to poor decision making. And I thought that that was interesting. And then Justice Stephen Breyer said, President Kennedy was a hero for our generation. And so I think especially for that generation, they still remember the moment that they heard that JFK was shot. It's kind of like the younger generation's equivalent of where were they when they heard about 9-11, right? So it's an interesting documentary. I think you'll enjoy it. And now for the special event that I wanted to tell you about. It occurs today, Saturday, November 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. You're invited to a special live online screening of another documentary film called The Test and the Art of Thinking. So you can get your tickets to register and watch for free at home using Gather. And you can click down below on this link and I'll have the information about that. So immediately following the film will be an exclusive live panel discussion about the SAT and ACT college admissions and what parents and students need to know as they head into 2021. All right, that's it for my review today. I hope you enjoy this documentary if you choose to watch it and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, bye for now.